Hello YouTube. Uh, last time I posted about this, uh, I was getting the electric motorcycle working. Uh, I know I have a video up that uh, shows the rear wheel spinning. That was with the old motor. Uh, when we did uh, test runs uh, under load with the with myself on it, uh, the bike barely moved. As a matter of fact, that's an understatement. It would go, it would roll forward if you gave it a little push, and you'd get about 20, 30 feet full throttle before it stopped. The, the motor was underpowered. So, uh, in the last few years that that's been, uh, I've been trying to figure out another way to do it. And recently, uh, within the last year, I came across an electric forklift. The whole thing, and charger. Courtesy of a local newspaper company here in town, this electric forklift had some damage uh, to the drivetrain system, and it was very old, and they just planned on getting rid of it. It's a, it was a 1969 Eaton, Yale, and Town forklift uh, MR series, or something like that. It, the, the documentation on it was spotty at best, and there wasn't a whole lot to be found online. Uh, long story short, I've recharged my batteries, my three 12 volt deep cycle batteries. They're all connected right now, and I've I've, I've done some wiring on this motor. Uh, it's all wired up and ready to go. This is to show you a, uh, a test run of just the motor running at uh, well above maximum output. The motor's rated for 24 volts, but it'll handle. Uh, I'm going to walk over and grab the old motor and set it next to this one to give you a, a, a scale size along with a, a big pen. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, YouTubers, this is the old motor with the uh, sprocket pulled off using it in the motorcycle. All right. Now pan down to the motor. As you can see, there's the motor, both the old one and the new one. There's a big pen. I uh, can tell there's quite a big difference here. This motor is actually about a uh, seven and a half inches in diameter and about eleven inches long. Uh, that's not including the uh, exit shaft here. And then we see that's wired up, ready to go, going back to a battery disconnect, and then there's the set of batteries back there. And at this point, we will be uh, running the motor. stabilize this with my foot because it's got a lot of torque. As you can see it's still running even after I unplugged it. Uh, when I hook this thing up, oh lordy, when I hook this thing up to that bike, I just think I'm going to have to be careful not to flip it. <laughs> this is made to move a four to six thousand pound piece of machinery. The end weight of the motorcycle with myself on it, I'm thinking, won't be much more than 650 pounds. We're talking it'll be moving a tenth of what it used to. Oh boy. Till next time, I'll uh, be working on the bike and getting the uh, motor controller wired up to this motor. Uh, I'll perform 
some more tests and record some more video then. See you then.